guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Sherry here, how's it going? Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, there's been a personal tragedy in the family. So I am flying out of town um, on Sunday and um, so I'm not going to be doing any readings for about a week. Uh, now I know there's some outstanding private readings so um, email me and I can refund that money for you if you'd like. Um, but if you can wait a week and a bit uh, then I can get that reading to you. Um, so I need to be completely detached from the channel, so I'll also be releasing the zodiac signs as well. Um, but definitely trying to stay on track here with the, tw the twin flame readings. Okay. Welcome Divine Feminine to your reading. So this is going to be a yin, whoa, yin reading for, um, April the 16th until the 23rd. I hope you're all doing well. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Cards are really jumping today. Okay, so I'm going to pull the cards first. So I'm doing a split elemental reading. Okay. And I'll also be pulling one card per position for clarifiers. All right, let's begin. So the overall energy for the reading, Eight of Wands. So this is energy starting to speed up. You see the finish line. You're almost there. You're almost completing um, this big race or this thing that you wanted to do. It's manifestation, sending out seeds of intention, having it coming back to you. Very positive energy. So the eight wands could also represent communication. Uh, communication was a big deal on the masculine side. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the reading says. Okay, so the uh, how do you feel? How are you going to be feeling emotionally? Wow, throat chakra. So major, major theme for the next uh, week is communication, a desire to communicate. So emotionally, the feminine is open to communicating. King of fire, interesting that the queen of fire kept on showing up on the masculine side. So there's fire, there's passion, there's sexual uh, attraction. Now, the King of Fire is somebody who is a leader, who wants to change the world, who is unchained, very passionate, very high energy. So, emotionally, the feminine wants to speak, possibly with a fire sign, but she wants to communicate um, her desires um, with the masculine energy. So mentally, Nine of Cups. So mentally, the feminine feels emotionally satisfied. Um, she's thinking about the people that are around her. She's thinking about her family, her friends. Uh, she, she wants to, or she will be reaching out. Um, like celebrating life, you know, on an emotional level in, in the mental space, she's, she feels happy. So one card, wow, hope card. So healing, hope for the future. So the hope card is actually an air card, um, which is beautiful to see in the mental space, right? So, so much love, 
surrounding her that she's able to soothe any negative thoughts and heal herself. But she feels that her wishes and dreams are coming true times two. Okay, so her physical space, wow, Ace of Cups. Actually, I noticed this card when I first picked up the deck, it was at the bottom. So Ace of Cups, um, new love begins, being an open vessel. The Eight of Wands is Cupid's Arrows. So a lot of positive energy flowing towards the, the feminine. Physically, she is open to love, to beginning a, you know, a love connection, um, and giving love unconditionally to all. Queen of Swords, interesting. This, this kept on showing up in the Twin Flame reading. Um, so the Queen of Swords, somebody who is emotionally detached, um, it could also mean that she wants to speak her truth, communicate her truth uh, in the 3D reality. It's almost like she's standing there with a bouquet of flowers or something, right? She's open to communicating in the 3D. This is a very similar vibration that I'm picking up over here as well as over here. Communicating in a loving, passionate way, truthful way. Um, wearing your heart on her sleeve. Spiritually, Seven of Cups. So this is knowing what you want, not knowing how to get there, or having a lot of options. But it's it's being clouded, um, confused, lost, needing to make a decision. So spiritually, she is being called to make a decision. So let's see what that's about. Transformation, interesting. This card showed up in the future uh, for the union energy in the extended reading, but it showed up in reverse. So spiritually, you know, she is going through a transformation. It's a butterfly rising from the chrysalis, rebirth, but it's also death of the ego, death of the old identity. So there may be some emotional attachments that she's not letting go of freely. Um, but, you know, the Queen of Swords would indicate that she is trying to detach and trying to um, move on, allow that transformation to illuminate her. Okay, so what is her soul speaking of? Ten of Wands. Wow, this was another reoccurring card. The masculine got this as a final outcome. The feminine was bringing this in from the past. So she's exhausted. She feels that she's carrying a lot of burden. Um, but this indicates the end of that cycle. Now, the Nine of Wands also showed up as a final outcome. Oh, just one minute. So sorry about that. Yeah, so um, she, you know, the overall energy or message from the universe was the, for the feminine to put down the burden and look after herself. Seek out soothing, healing energy. And that's already in your mind. Um, I see a lot of detachment happening here. Allowance and transformation. So the burden is coming to an end. All right, so let me pull one card as the final message from the universe. An alien emerges. So this is about feeling out of your element. And that's kind of what I was feeling here, you know, like the sense of confusion during this rebirth and being afraid to l completely to get, let go of something, right? The Ten of Swords actually showed up um, in reverse in the extended version. So there is some pretty heavy energy surrounding the feminine. I feel, you know, 
fragility, um, vulnerability. I don't know why I'm shuffling these cards, by the way. Um, I guess maybe Spirit wants me to pull an additional card. Okay, so Page of Wands, this is a new beginning, exciting news. So if you're able to transform, release, and end this burden, your hopes and dreams are coming true. This is new light, this new beginning on a spiritual path. So as one cycle ends, a new begins. So I feel that you've been waiting for a new beginning. You've been waiting for something to happen. Okay, well, let's read this card. So number 43. Okay, so what once was foreign at present is dear. What used to be obscure is transparently clear. What once felt distant grew to be near. What I now love began with fear. Wow, that's powerful. Um, you know, there's that confusion. What I didn't know became clear. What I thought was distant, um, I'm kind of feeling a distance with the Queen of Swords, right? This love is distant, desiring to communicate. Distance grew near. Or it came, what is it? Yeah, grew to be near. And what I now love began with fear, right? So there is that element of fear and vulnerability there. Um, a desire to protect yourself. Um, so the message. A slim mermaid emerges from a murky lake, an inquisitive look upon her face. Is she creepy and threatening or just mysterious and curious? Do not fear the foreign or alien. A foreign, exotic, or unusual element is entering your life. Do not allow yourself to be intimidated, scared, or avoidant. This foreign element may literally be a person from another country or culture, an opportunity overseas, or simply a situation that feels alien to you at first. Use this opportunity to expand your horizons, embrace the uncommon, and experiment with new flavors, sounds, and ideas. Consider challenging yourself by learning a new language or investigating the culture, cultural traditions from another nation. Although it may feel intimidating at first, the foreign element in your life will ultimately be very rewarding and enriching. It may result in a new passion or you may find your life headed in a very different but very exciting direction. Okay, so the transformation, I'm definitely feeling that. You feel you're being pulled in a different direction. You're being asked to um, release something. So, you know, move forth and allow yourself to be expanded. And I think also, you know, the yin card showed up in the twin flame reading as well as a final message for the extended version. So there's a stepping into yang energy from the yin to the yang, um, finding your power, possibly as the king of fire, to stand up, express yourself. Um, but yeah. All right, so I do hope this helps. Um, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. All right, cheers. Welcome back. This is the extended version of the yin reading. So uh, this is for April to the uh, 16th until the 23rd. So, um, you know what, let's use my original deck. Yeah, so, you know, be excited. Um, be Oh, right. There was a card that said careless abandon. No, that came up on the masculine side. But that's what I'm kind of feeling like this. It's like move forth into these unfamiliar spaces um, like a child. Be excited about it. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's begin. So... 
as I was saying earlier, the overall energy of the reading is the Eight of Wands. So accelerated energy. And you can see that positivity building, vibrancy, the uh, fire, passion, love, all of the good stuff. Okay, so emotional space. The Five of Wands and the Six of Swords in the future. So the Five of Wands is overcoming challenges, uh, feeling like somebody's disagreeing with you, standing in your way, feeling lack of... Um, you know, body image, feeling like you don't compete or compare. So that is in the past. The present position is the king of wands. So this is power. Uh, so this could very much be the feminine. But uh, what I was picking up earlier was that this, you know, is a masculine energy. Um, feeling that there is a blockage or obstacles to overcome when it comes to communication. So the Six of Swords is in the future, and this actually was a theme for the masculine side, but it was the overall energy for the Twin Flame. Um, so moving to a calmer space. No, actually, it wasn't the overall energy for the Twin Flame. Sorry. It was present position for the Twin Flame, and it was um, the overall energy for the Yang, I think. I can't remember. But, yeah, I think that's what it was. So it's coming in the future. So... This is moving to a calmer state. It is a stillness that allows possibly some communication. Um, I just feel there's a detachment that happens here. Okay, so mentally, the Nine of Cups again. And the Four of Swords, okay. So, Nine of Cups, past position, same card. So, you know, wish fulfilled, feeling satisfied, feeling like there are people surrounding you that are helping you to heal. And so, you're moving into another healing energy in the future position with the Four of Swords. This was actually a crowning energy that you are also bringing in as a crowning energy, a supported card for the feminine side. Finding peace, solitude, stillness in, in order to heal is very important, right? So um, this is a beautiful energy to be in mentally. And there's going to be more peace and solitude in the future. So that was the overall energy for the or re, overall message from the universe in the Twin Flame reading was to look after yourself. Okay, so 3D reality, the crown chakra, and the five of swords. Interesting. So, crown chakra, past position. Um, this is your connection to your higher self, to the collective, to source. So, there's been some insight that has to do with love. Um, this card only shows up when you're truly ready to receive love into your life. And it comes with conditions that you let go of the past. You forgive yourself, forgive others, and move on. But you're at the same time, you're ready to allow love into your life fully. You're an open vessel. So in the physical space, there was this illumination that helped you to open yourself or to see, um, you know, to allow love in. But... In the present, there's a sense of detachment. Um, you're ignoring your... Oops, sorry. You're ignoring, uh, ignoring listening to your higher self, you know, uh, your twin flame. I don't know. Now, this could also mean that you want to communicate from a truthful, mentally clear space. Now, the Five of Swords, though, is coming in the future. So this was actually um, your final outcome card for the Twin Flame. So the Five of Swords is conflict, finger-pointing, triggered, right? So if you are facing conflict or a negative energy in the future, you are also walking away from it emotionally, seeking out stillness, right? So there is... 
you know, healing that happens. But um, I think this is all mental, right? Remember the message from the universe was you might feel out of your element, right? But you have to overcome that, you know, step into that unknown. Even if feel, it feels uncomfortable, it was for your higher good. So in the physical reality, the feminine is holding love in her heart. She is highly intuitive, um, would like to speak her truth in the 3D. And she'll be facing something in the future. Yeah. Okay, so for the um, spiritual, the King of Swords and the Seven of Cups again. King of Swords could represent an air sign, but we have like this match here between the King and Queen. Um, this is somebody who's completely emotionally de detached. You know, it's all mental. Mm -hmm. Now, he's also somebody who is a leader, who takes action. So the past position, there was a repeated theme of mental clarity, um, cutting something away, making a decision. But it's still confusing you spiritually. You're, you're, you feel a little bit lost. Um, so you are in the midst of a transformation. I, what I feel here is you seem to be recycling through these thoughts over and over with an emotional attachment or element to it that keeps bringing you back to the same place over and over again. And it's creating a spiritual block for you. Feeling, you know, you, you want to find your yellow brick road home. Um, and you're afraid of transformation. But you already know the truth about a situation. You know what needs to be done. Um, face the conflict, even though it might be a f scary, right? Um, this needs to end, whatever it is, it needs to come to completion. Okay, so I'll pull three cards for that. King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, or sorry, Eight of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Interesting. So the King of Pentacles, past position. This is really cool synchronicity. In the masculine reading, um, three queens, no, actually, a, a queen showed up in every single one of his positions. Um, the Queen of Wands, I think the Queen of Wands, uh, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. I can't remember exactly, but here we got the King of Wands, the King of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. So mirroring. Uh, okay, so the past position we have the King of Pentacles. So this is a very stable energy, somebody who's financially um, secure, somebody who wants to look after the family, provide. Um, somebody who is also detached from the 3D reality, so they place a lot of importance on the family. So there was a sense of success, groundedness, stability in the past, and you're being asked to go into an environment that might feel uncomfortable. But ultimately, it leads to reunion. So the Eight of Swords is the present position. So this is a self-imposed prison of the mind. So you are releasing yourself from that prison with the Six of Swords. You are finding solitude in order to heal yourself. Um, you, you may have felt locked out of it, out of this connection. This is your soul. Your soul is exhausted. Um, you, you want back in to this feeling of safety and security. You want the burden to be gone, that kind of thing. So. If you release yourself from that state, which you will be doing, like I said, uh, the Six of Cups is coming to you. So this is reunion, somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood. And so that 
That's where we see that Eight of Wands. So somebody could be reaching out to you. Exciting news. Um, I feel a shift in energy for sure. Right. So I feel a strong need for you to seek solitude. In the stillness, the answers will come. In the stillness, that light will be brought to you. Okay, so I am pulling one card as a final message from the universe. Truth be told, interesting. Okay, so I feel this energy of being locked behind a prison, right? So it's the same kind of bars being, you know, this is ten wands of fire right at at the heart, your soul is on fire, and you feel trapped, um, locked out of the connection with the masculine and the 3D, but there's a sense of a union ha reunion happening. Okay, so truth be told, all right. Honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. Okay, so yeah, I see this coming out of denial, clarity of communication, right? Okay, so people tell you who they are very quickly if you're willing to listen to what they're, they say and pay attention to how they behave. This card calls you to engage in heartfelt, open conversation. There we go, that conversation again. Throat chakra. Um, it's time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. Yeah, tell the truth. No one can do that for you. Remember that your truth is always based in your personality and experience up to now. A higher truth will be found after you communicate honestly and see how doing so has helped you become more attuned with yourself. Don't hold back. Speak your truth and listen. Wow. Interesting. Because um, the masculine had a similar message to, to um, communicate to speak your truth. I can't remember what the card was that I pulled as a clarifier, but it was something to that tune of, of say something. All right, so I do hope this helped, and um, yeah, like, and well, I guess uh, this is an extended version, right? So I will see you in a week. All right, cheers, peace.